Hello, and welcome to our Looney Tunes Phonics User Guide, your solution to our most frequently asked questions. Today, we will be learning about how to set up a new student. The first step will be to log in to your Looney Tunes Phonics account. You may do so by entering your username and password that has been assigned to you by Clicking Kids. Now that you have successfully logged into your account, you can view the Quick Start Guide. To add a student, please look for step number two. This step is called Student Setup. Within step two, you will see two buttons, Add Student and Bulk Add Student. Today, we will be showing you how to add a single student. To start, click on Add Student. Once you have clicked on Add Student, you will be directed to the Student Setup page. Now that you are at the Student Setup page, you will notice that you are on step 1 of 7. In order to add a student, you will need to complete all 7 steps. The first step is to create the name of your new student. Once you have created a name, you may also select an avatar image. You can select from Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Roadrunner, Sylvester, Taz, Tweety, Wiley E. Coyote, and Yosemite Sam. Once you have completed your selection, please click Next. Step 2 will allow you to select which lesson number your student will begin on. Lesson 10 is our system's default starting point. This will allow you to verify if your student can advance without trouble or if they would have to start with the basics on Lesson 1. You can manually change the lesson starting point by grabbing the carrot and moving it to the desired lesson. Also, make sure that the auto-repeat is checkmarked. Now, click Next. Step number three will give you the option of having the on-screen keyboard function either on or off during the student's lesson. By default, the virtual on-screen keyboard is available from lessons 1 through 49. Check the box if you would like to keep the keyboard on. If not, please leave the box unchecked and click Next. Step 4 allows you to control the speed at which the words are displayed and played back during the lessons. If you would like to keep it at default, as recommended, you can do so by just clicking Next. Moving on to Step 5. This option allows you to offer repeat story reading. This will allow students the opportunity to repeat the entire sentence reading if the repeat story reading option is set to yes. Or click next to select the default setting. Step 6 gives you the option to control the entertainment content that will be displayed in between the lessons. Please note all three lessons contain the same curriculum portions. The animation segments between the lessons are the only thing that is lengthened or shortened depending on the setting selected. Once you have selected your preferred setting, please click Next. The seventh and final step gives you the option to keep the positive affirmation message. This allows the student to hear a positive message on every correct answer. Unchecking the box means that the student will not hear a positive confirmation message after every successful attempt. Finally, you may click Save to Finish. Once you click Save, you will receive a confirmation page letting you know that your student was added successfully. To add another student, you may click Add another student. To immediately begin running lessons, click Go to Lesson Center. Congratulations! You have now completed the process of setting up a student. If you are still having difficulty in setting up a student, please feel free to contact our customer support department at 877-CLICK-ABC. That's 877-254-2522. Thank you and have a great day!